Hello beautiful people and welcome back to a new video. Today I want to try something new. I want to share with you what I'm learning in Unreal Engine and what I have been up to. All my life I wanted to learn Substance Designer but I never had the time to do it and every time I need custom textures I kinda struggle or talk to a Substance Designer professional. And if you are a Substance Designer professional we are always looking for people like you so feel free to reach out. Now, in Unreal Engine 5.4, there is the Texture Graph, which is a tool that allows you to create textures inside Unreal Engine, just like Substance Designer. And you can enable it if you go to Edit, you can go to Plugins, and here if you type Texture Graph, you can enable it. It's as experimental stage as of now, and restart your engine. To create a new texture graph, you need to open your content browser, then right click and you can type texture graph. You're gonna find it here or it's under the texture. So if you right click and go to texture, you're gonna find it here. So click and create a new asset, call it TG, stands for texture graph and then we can call it tutorial. And by the way, I have created this in the texture graph. So I will show you what I have been working on in a moment. Let's open the new texture graph we've created. And here it's very similar to how you work with blueprints and how you work with materials. You have your view and on the right we have the node view. So the moment you create any element, so I'm going to select the noise here. This is the 2D view of our textures. The you have the 3D preview and here on the left we have the palette where we have the nodes that we can place in our texture graph to create the textures we want and when you click on any node we have the details of that node and you can also expand the properties of any node to see the exact view by clicking on the arrow here to expand so the seed the amp the frequency octaves and so on for the noise texture for example and in the case of the output you can export your textures you can set the path you can set the file name the weight can be set to automatic and i believe the default setting is 1k then the format and the texture type so you can export even normal maps there are there is a node normal from height map so this is really really cool really excited about this and i feel that I can finally create my own texture. And let me show you what I've been up to before we talk a little bit more about the textures, just be easier. You can create shape and this shape, they can be a rectangle, they can be a circle, they can be anything of these. And I really hope we get more and more and more nodes to everything here because I'm learning and I want more stuff. So you can set the width, the bevel. So if you increase the bevel, you're gonna notice on the sides, it's blurred. So there is a fall off. There is a bevel curve where you have more control and show SDF, signed distance function. Honestly, I do, I'm not gonna like act like I know this, but if we play around, we can see what's up, what's happening. And I'm just curious what's happened to my end result here. Very cool. So let's set this back to the default values and set this back to rectangle so I don't lose my texture. Yeah. And yeah, when you have a shape like this, I made it smaller. The nodes here, there is adjustment nodes where we have levels and hue, saturation and value. So the brightness, we have brightness, contrast and whatnot. We have the ability to combine and split channel. So when you have something here, you can input RGB, then blue, then red, green, blue and alpha. We also have filters and right now we have blur where you can input something and blur, increase the radius and change the blur type and whatnot. And what I advise you here is to try this individually and also check the description for resources and links I'm going to leave for you about the texture graph. So there is a document or like a blog post, shout out to Russell Paul about the texture graph. And there are all the details you may need to know. I will definitely be making more videos, getting more in depth about this, but let's keep moving forward. We have math nodes similar to what we have in the material editor. You have like add, the absolute, clamp, invert and whatnot. We also have the output nodes, so you can have just like Substance Designer, you can have multiple output nodes, one for the diffuse, one for the emissive, one for the normal. 
and you can name these. And to name any node, you can right click and click on rename, or you can press F2 to name it. And you can also press C to add comment and all the things you are familiar with. So this just makes it so much easier to jump into the texture graph and, and get into it because you're already familiar with some of these nodes and you are also familiar with moving around and doing your thing. And what's best is you always have your assets inside your projects, you can migrate them and then you can start building your library of the things you want. So this is amazing. And if you work with the texture graph, please reach out to me. Let's have a chat. Now, we have the curation nodes. We have the noise, the pattern, shape, and transform. And you will work with these a lot. And material ID, I didn't really work with this. So we will keep today's lesson simple as we go. If you add this, it's pretty self-explanatory. You have the seed and whatnot, and then the type of noise. Then if you add the pattern, and this is an interesting one, you can create patterns. So you can chain the repeat on the X or the Y. Then you can chain the spacing if you want, increase it, and look at this. You can chain the offset. You can get really interesting uh, shapes and textures and whatnot. Now we have the next. We also have effects like jitter. This will affect the brightness or how some of these, like their values from white to black, their values from zero to one, if you will, and the brightness seed, so you can change that. And one example I have is on the facade experiments I was trying to do. If we take a look at one of the nodes, I think it's this one or this one. Yeah, it's here. And here I have noise, then I have this pattern, and then I have this pattern, and I mixed them in a way. And I exported this earlier as you can see the noise in the reflections, right? So there is a normal map, there is a roughness map and whatnot. And if you open the material, it's pretty simple and it's only 100% inside Unreal Engine. And I was doing some experiments, so there is something about about the pattern so if you go back to the pattern when you want to tile things there is a stretch to image ha ah, it's in the transform so right now we have the pattern and let me show you something real quick you'll understand what i mean we're gonna do it here so i will reduce the repeat like two to two as of now and i will increase the bevel okay so I'll increase it like this not much and I will add a transform node. This is one of the important nodes you will also work with a lot. And I will add input. And now what I can do, I can repeat this texture. So I can do it two by two, like this. I can do it three by three. Or I can do it three by one, if I want to, like this. If you want to do this, because I was trying to kind of have these kind of effects of like long facade for my building here, you may end up with some stretching. As you can see here, this is a stretching compared to the sides. So other ways to achieve this, I'm still trying to work on it, is where we do it just like Substance Designer or any other similar tool. We add, uh, I added this shape, I did transform, so I did an offset, then I transform again, so it's on the corner, and then I do the same for this shape. I add a transform so it's on the tab and then I add them together and then I have them here. I do a transform for this side and then I add them together like this and now I kind of have a facade here. I have a window so I have the same. I have a basic shape. I multiply that shape with a color so one of the nodes we have is multiply and we also have color and here's the amazing part i didn't talk a lot about the inputs but here we are color material you can put materials you can put material functions then scalar settings textures and texture graph so you can create texture graphs and then put texture graphs just like blueprints very cool and a vector for vector color x y and z rgb and yeah we will cover these as i discover them i still didn't get much into it i'm still working with the basic stuff but as you can see this is really awesome and here I try like different things. So this is the same node. I try to invert it. Maybe I want to create the sides. So I'm still experimenting. However, you can totally tell how, how awesome this is. So here I have a pattern, then I assign the bevel, and then I assign the threshold to select like parts of it. And then I add blur. I'm just experimenting. So here's another turn, then a threshold, then transform for fun. And then where is it? I like imagine this as a building facade. So if I go back here, I started with one shape and then I transform that shape and in under transform, there is stretch to fit. And usually this is set to one, okay? And it's like that. And if you change the bevel on, on your asset here, on your shape, 
like this, it looks right here, but here it will be stretched. And that's what I was talking about. So there are different ways, I believe, to achieve this effect where I have like equal bevel on all my sides, but I'm still working on it. So if we add this to zero now, it'd be one, two, I added transforms, added them together, transform to repeat these shapes. So I have like some sort of cool facade. So I can put one, no, not one, two, three by two. And I added that just to anything so I can have black background, then multiply it with the color. And first I was just like trying a color like this, right? And it looks cool. But I was like, what if I want to create some variation? And this might be too much as variation, but yes, it's possible. And then, yeah. So if we go here, I think this was something I was working on yesterday. So we start with the shape. I make it smaller, then I invert to have this. And here I have a pattern. I just make some transform but on the side 0.25 to make it move to the tub. Then I invert and then I combine this shape with this shape to have this shape. And there are many ways you can do these. So I inverted this to have the window, for example, and then multiply this with a color I called metal for now levels just for fun. So this is one of the adjustment layers we have, the adjustment nodes, and then add the windows with this, this. And if I want to export this, I can drag, type output, and I can type it color, right? So here, also type and click export. You can select what you want to export and then click on export, press control space, and you see it next to your texture graph. And if you want to get a normal map for any reason, so let's try normal from height map. Let's see here how this looks. There we go. So you can also go to export. You can, let me see. So something buggy or I don't know. No, wait, actually my bad. Uh, let's get the output node. So there's multiple ways you can add the nodes. Of course, you can click to add one. You can add it from the palette or you can click and drag to add one. So let's type output and let's expand the settings. Let's make sure this is select to normal because it will, you know, when you export the texture in the texture edit, uh, the MIP generation settings and the texture group, these are important. So word normal map, let's try exporting our normal texture, export and output. And this is set from texture group. I think, ah, there we go, normal map. And here we go. So to recap, you can create these within your content browser, double click, and you will be welcomed with just an output node. From here, you can add your shapes. So you can start with a shape or a pattern, and then you can add these or multiply these. So I'm gonna type invert, for example, and then do this, and just experiment what's gonna happen, right? Let me show you here an example again, shape, transform, transform, add another shape, transform, add it, another shape, and so on. Invert. Let me see. Let me know what you experiment with, what you create. Join us on Discord and share your renders. So what I'm trying to do here is to create project, big environment, 100% in Android Engine. And I'm experimenting with all the tools in Android, from the modeling tools to the textures tool to the tools. And as I keep learning, as I keep experimenting, I will keep sharing that with you. So if you found today's lesson useful, if you are watching this on the Academy, leave a comment. Let me know if you are enjoying this. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. That will hack the algorithm. Tell YouTube, hey, I like this stuff. It would mean a lot to us. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. Stay hydrated and I will see you soon.